Hey y'all, it is um, Martha here. I wanted to dye some and stamp on some papers for my art journal. Now I may not use them all in the journal, but I will save them and use them in something else, another journal or some mixed media or something. I have these lined papers, which I trimmed. Um, I have coffee filters, some of which have been coffee dyed, obviously. This one I had already folded and glued, and I got some black ink on it when I was testing. Uh, yeah, that reminds me, if you see a residue of ink on my hand, I was testing my, these are food coloring, and I couldn't, f like, I don't know, I couldn't find the purple, so I, maybe one of them lost its color or something, I don't know. But I was testing different colors and see if they, I wanted to put more food coloring in them. And I just use like gel food coloring in the tube, like from Walmart, the Great Value brand. And that's what I'm going to use today, but first, I have a bunch of stamps over here. Let me make sure you're in frame because I keep hitting the camera and I can't get it like I want it exactly. All right, I guess that will work. Just try to stay above that line there. Okay. So, I thought I would do some stamping first, and I have a bunch, uh, like, as you know, I'm working, f um, in my farm journal, my f rainbow farm journal. Um, this is what it looks like so far from the outside, which it may change, but I wanted to put some, um, stamping on some of my papers, and especially my coffee filter <clears throat> and I want to use ink that will withstand the food coloring and so I have like flowers and bees and all of what you're going to see on a farm and stuff so I even have a big old kitty cat I thought I might stamp that out on a big piece of paper and and we have this, it's like a little birdhouse, which you might see on a farm. We even have a texture stamp here. But I just want to play around a minute and then I want to spray some things. So I hope you'll come along and join me and see if we can create anything fun and pretty. And I bought these stamps a long time ago and really haven't used them too much. I think I'm going to put this butterfly. This is a butterfly. I said bee, I think. I think I do have a bee over there. So we have a bee here. I thought I'd put it right there in the center. And um, let's see. Do I want to add anything? Maybe we will add a little bit of texture on the sides just for the heck of it to see what it looks like. This is a really big stamp, so it's kind of hard to hold on to. Um, so, I'm going to do some on the back too even though it's probably going to be glued down i think it might show through it looks like it's going through yeah that looks pretty good so and maybe i will just go ahead and there just let it dry a bit while I um, do some more I really liked that one 
So I think I'm gonna do that on my coffee filters, a lot of it. See, it shows through, so I'm gonna let that one be. I really like this stamp, the few times I've used it. But let's do one, let's try to get some roses or something on here. Since I do have lots of roses in my journal. I got these stamps, by the way, at a thrift store, a whole bunch of wooden stamps, and I don't use them very much, so I wanted to break them out today. And play with them. will look like after it's dyed. I might go on this side too because it did go through but you know I just wanted a little bit. You know if I gotta do something I gotta do more and more. Okay. Kinda like that too. Now, let's see. Let's do one with bees all over it. They say if you have some kind of book or something to put on, these wooden stamps do a little better. really know since I'm not really trying to get a crisp print it's not a bee I think I said this was a bee it's the butterfly I keep saying bee because I know there's a bee stamp over there. And... Put a few on the side just for the heck of it. Probably unnecessary, but you know me, I gotta do it anyway. There we have our butterfly one. All right, speaking of the bee, let's find the bee. Here he is. Oh, he got ink on top of him, so it's kind of hard to see. Isn't he cute? Now these little stamps of the bees and the insects and stuff, there's a butterfly, a bee, and a um, dragonfly. I think that's all. I think I got those at Michael's though, or somewhere like that. And I really like them, but I've not used them a lot. I just generally forget about stuff like this. I'm gonna switch arm because that muscle over there is getting kind of tired. <laughs> I 
It's changing the direction here and there. That one really prints nice. Or stamps nice, I should say. Now see, look, that shows up really good. Put a few dark ones on here. Okay, now let's do one with a dragonfly. Uh, Hot filter. All right, now where's the dragonfly? Here he is. I think I want to try him on a non-coffee stained filter or dyed, however you want to say it. And let's just Change arms again here. I don't know that I'm going to stamp on the paper. I might do that after I like I was thinking of putting some on these so I don't know where to put the stamp because I'll have to tear it or cut it or something so I might save those but I do have one more um, coffee dye filter so let's find let's see is there yeah I don't want to use those stamps on it they're for a bigger thing so let's just do this again. This one's easier without the book. I can get more ink doing it this way. That's probably enough for that. So if I use, put any of the big stamps, I also have this one and this one. I might use those like after I've dyed something and decide I have room for it. So let me move this over here and get this stuff out of the way and just Kind of start spraying. We'll go ahead and do some of these filters first. Okay, we have the purple here. You might be able to see it better if I do it right here. And um, if I remember correctly, they dry a lot lighter than what they look like here. You know what? It's just so you can see, and it's probably going to go through anyway. Let's put some pink on there. The pink doesn't want to spray good. I think the little thing inside is too long. So it gets kind of stuck or something. Because I don't know why it does that. It's 
still coming out very little. I will just splash this one. Yeah, I don't know. Feels like it might be, it's just hard to pump more than the other ones. But yeah, I think that's gonna look nice when it dries. I'll lay it over here. And yeah, this one does not. Let's see if I can trade lids. Because I have some more in here, I think. I thought I had a couple of empty ones, but maybe not. But I'll just use this one. Let's see if this one will. This one looks like it might work better. Well, that doesn't really fit on there at all. All right, I'm going to dump this out because it's not very, it's white. And it doesn't do anything. It's white food coloring. I'm just going to change the bottle. Because this is a bigger bottle, so it doesn't want to fit. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess it's coming out, but it really it doesn't show up as well. There you go. You got to get more on there. And then you can soak some of that up that's already on there. So I think I will save these two to just dry. I'll try to come back when they're all dry and give you a quick peek. Okay, let's spray just a little bit of, uh, I think this is, I don't know, I have two different blues, but they look pretty much the same to me. That's pretty. Let's see if that pink will. Yeah, the pink is really light. I think I put a... Well, it looks like it's going to meld colors. <laughs> there. Alright. This is a different blue. It's supposed to be, but I don't think it is. You maybe just slightly this one seems to be slightly darker okay that's pretty wet so I'm going to use this one to soak up some of it I think I'm going to leave some of it with white showing. Okay, I'm going to leave that one. See what happens to it. Alright, let's use one of these coffee filters to soak up some of this. We'll have to wait till it dries to get a real good look at what it's going to do. I'll spray some of this pink even though it's not showing up really well. 
I do have some red here. I wonder what that will look like. I thought I wasn't going to use any red, but I think this is red. Yeah. That shows up better. Okay, we're going to let that dry. Okay, we'll do one more on camera and then I will do the rest off camera and when they dry, I'll come back and let you get a look at them and see. Okay. I'm gonna use blue. Oh, heck, why not? I think I have an orange over here. Where is the orange? Let's see. I was going, trying to go with a theme, but I'm having fun here. Okay. All right. Go ahead and use this to soak up the excess over here. Just use it to clean up my mess. And then I'm going to just let it dry and see what happens. Okay. One more of these. Or, well, we'll do two because we could do them side by side. Seems like the pink shows up better on this paper. Yeah, that looks pretty good. y'all I am going to come back so I don't want this video to be too long we'll come back when they're dry and let you see what they look like all right I'll be back in a few okay I am not done by any means but I wanted to come on and show you what I have been doing um like you knew you saw that I used some of my papers to clean up the residue on my glass mat here. But I went back on a few of the things that I had done already. And let me see. See like this one, see how bright it is. And I probably should have worn gloves, but I didn't think. I Maybe hand sanitizer will bring most of that off. But what I've been doing, I'll dot some on the glass. And just soak it up. And it gets brighter. But the best way, if you want darker spots is um get that i like i just put a little on the paper itself and just start rubbing it in and then if i want some more like to spread it out a little more i just pour some of this on there and there it gets darker and i don't know what it'll look like when it dries but you and me both are going to see together. But this is kind of fun. It's like doing painty papers with food coloring. And uh, I think I might try to do that with some of the other colors. I did wind up using some oranges and reds. And I may not do all the papers like I intended to. But yeah, I'm running out of drying room. Here. but that makes it so much darker and kind of fun too and 
It is. That's really finger painting, y'all. And I did that around some of my coffee filters, too. But I thought I'd come on and share. It's just, I'm just playing and just seeing what my food coloring will do. That looks like it's going to be really pretty. Let's try the other side and get some on there. And if you you uh, are doing this, I'm in my kitchen, so I think it will, you know, my craft room is in my kitchen. See, that kind of smudged it when I turned it over, but put it somewhere where you're not afraid to get food coloring. Although, food coloring is supposed to clean up really easy. Uh, but I guess I will find out. I don't really see it on the floor or anything. Mostly on my hands. So I thought I'd share that little tidbit. Bit, and I will be back to show you the results. Okay, y'all. I am done with my note papers and my coffee filters and i even have my some of my cleanup towels that i'm probably going to save and use somewhere but let me get started oh by the way it did not all come off with hand sanitizer so if you want to play with um gel food coloring be sure to wear gloves or don't play in it like I did. I had my fingers all in it, rubbing it around and all that good stuff. And also, if you lay, when you lay your papers down to dry, have lay them on something that you don't care to get dirty, like some craft paper or scrap paper. Or, well, in my case, mostly I laid mine on some plastic cases, which wiped off pretty good. And uh, I didn't, it didn't, so it only got a few spots on them anyway, so I wasn't worried about that. Anyway, let me show you the reveal. <clears throat> okay, these are the note papers, and this is how they turned out. I think they're really pretty. It'll be fun using those at some point. I know I'll use a few of them in my journal. There's where it dripped. Nice purples and blues there. And look, this is the one where I smudged it around with my finger. And you can see where I didn't get it smudged out really well. It's shiny. But I think they're really pretty and going to be fun to use. This one kind of turned out darker because I think it might be one of the ones I cleaned up a lot of the excess with. And I did both sides. I don't probably wasn't necessary, but I did. And this one, I laid this one on top of my... Um, paper cutter and it's very old and I guess it has some stuff down in the little cracks that <laughs> it got on there but I think it looks kind of cool this side too now this is the one that I played with with the pink and the purple and I think this one I don't know that I showed it on camera but I took the little tubes and just dotted them on there and poked at them with my fingers kind of cute and I don't know what happened to this one unless you can see that pattern unless I had it crumpled up a little bit or something and this is the one that I rubbed some blue with my finger I really like the way they turned out this one had some orange on it they look really cool and they would be nice with some stamping i like this one this was some yellow and blue and i think a little bit of purple but it of course turned out greens very pretty and this one's really bright pink and look at this one i know this is one that i rubbed around with my finger 
very fun. Now look at this one. I really like this one. Very nice. Look at this one. Now if you could probably iron these out, maybe put a piece of cloth over it and iron it, but I might probably just put something on top of them. Look at this one. This one's kind of cool. So they look really fun. Now these are two that got ripped. I had wadded this one up and used it to wipe up some of my mess. But it ripped when I was unfolding it. But it's still really fun and pretty. And this one also ripped a little bit too, I think. Yeah, right here. I don't know. Probably crinkled it up a little bit too. But now let me show you the filters. This is one I don't think it was coffee dyed beforehand. Pretty. And I really like this one. Very nice. And this is a pretty one. These two didn't have any stamping. This one, oh, that's nice. I love that. This one. This is where I rubbed some of the gel around the edges to get it darker. And it is also shiny in a couple of spots. And I really love this one. This is also where I rubbed it in. This was a, is kind of like a pretty teal and green. Very nice. And this one's very pretty. Now let me show you the one. This is the one I had already glued together. And I didn't think to pull it apart when it dried, so I had to very gently pull it apart or it would have ripped. So I don't know if the gel made it stick or if the glue on there reactivated or what, but I was able to pull it apart without ripping it. And then let me show you my paper towels. Some of my, the, I have another one or two over there that, but these would be, might be pretty. And some project too. I really like these. So this was a lot of fun, a little messy, but pretty easy cleanup except for my hands. And here's one more. Doesn't have, you can see my handprint on that one. So I'll probably use that one again for something. But really fun project. And you'll be seeing some of uh, them when I add them. Maybe I will add some of the like, uh, I don't know, one like this or something. Well, there was a really light pink one. Yeah. Like, cut a piece off and put it on here. It leaves some of this pretty border. Just for some writing space. So, yeah. And maybe in some other projects in my journal, too. So, if you're still here, thank you for watching and tell me if you would try to dye some papers with gel food coloring. And let me know if you ever have. And I really do appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Um, I'm going to try to put this journal together all on film and we'll see how it goes. All right. Bye now.